Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Recently, I did a demo review of the latest version of the Nick Collection version 4. And um, after that video posted, several people in the comment section uh, let me know that I kind of missed an important feature. Or more accurately, I totally screwed up talking about uh, an important new feature that's in uh, this version of the Nick Collection. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank those people for v being very nice and letting me know uh, in a very nice way that I totally screwed up. Um, I take what I do very seriously, and sometimes it's really disheartening and depressing uh, when people spot off in the comment section and just tell me I'm a worthless piece of crap, and I, I'm a horrible photographer, and I have no business doing this, and it really uh, kind of affects me. So um, I think to a person, everyone who noticed my screw-up, uh, we're very nice about it, so I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Now, as far as what I screwed up, uh, what it had to do was with control points. And I, sh I should, it's not an excuse. This is how I screwed up. This is the reason why I screwed up. Typically, when uh, new software comes out, I don't always get like a pre-advanced copy of it and I could practice with it or anything like that. Um, usually, I just have to wait till it comes out and I get it just like you did. But what I'll do is I'll go to various websites and I'll read reviews on it and I'll get an idea of what's new, what's exciting, how it works. And then I try it out on my own and I do my video. And as far as the Nick collection is concerned, I was just really lazy about it. And all I did was I looked at one website, the Fablographer, and they had a, it was a really good write up. It's just, I skimmed it and I kind of, they mentioned this and it wasn't real prominent in the article about control points. And I just totally didn't even notice it and didn't understand how better the control points are. So my apologies, I, I will try not to do that anymore. I'll try to be more diligent in uh, researching this new stuff and make sure that I represent it uh, correctly in future videos. And again, thank you to everyone who let me know that I totally screwed up. Now let's try to show you how these new control points actually do work. Um, I'm still new at it, but hopefully I could convey to you, um, you know, how, how really good they are. They really are much better. Um, now I have this image here as the image is, it's fine, but I use the, I picked this image because I think it'll help illustrate this new feature of the control points. Now I'm going to take a control point over here. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to put it on one of these trees on this hill that is more yellow orange compared to the green trees, right? And we'll make it large so it encompasses all the hill and then some. All right, now if we go down to the controls for the control point, and let me just, um, so you could see it, let me just put brightness up. And you can see how it's kind of brightening the entire hill. And I think in my last, in the video I even mentioned, I think I said it in a real sarcastic, almost ignorant way, I said, they claim they improved the technology of the control points and I really just kind of left it at that when they actually did. Now let me show you, I'm put, turning brightness up. Now I put that on a more tr a tree that was more yellow orange than green, but you can see how it's brightening everything. This feature that they added is really a good feature. If you go up to color selectivity, you could kind of refine or mask the tr control point to a more specific color, uh, or tone luminance value of what you clicked on. For example, if I go to the chrominance uh, slider here and I move that to the right, you can see how it's kind of removing the brightness I added from the green trees and it's keeping it more on those yellow trees, right? Now, if I go up and turn off the control point, you'll notice it more readily. There's before and there's after. So you could see that they really did improve the control points considerably. And the same thing with luminance, where chrominance, of course, looks at the color that's directly under the control point. And if you move it to the right, it will restrict it more to that color. If you move it to the left, it will broaden its kind of scope and it will look outside that color. So if you're on a color wheel, it's gonna look more towards the greens, you know, on the other side of yellow, and it's gonna look, you know, hit the oranges more and things like that. But if I go to the right, it's kind of restricting that more towards those yellows. And same thing with the luminance slider. It's just going to do the brighter parts if I move it to the right. And then it's going to 
just kind of broaden that scope a little bit if I go to the left. So you could really uh, refine your control point to the uh, parts of the image you want it to affect. You also have the color picker as well. So you could use that by grabbing the eyedropper and clicking on a specific color or uh, brightness, like luminance level in the image that you want this control point to affect. So they really, really did improve the control point. So I apologize, I totally dropped the ball on that. They also, in Silver Effects Pro 3, uh, that same technology is here. If I go to the control point and I click, let's say, on the sky up here, and I make it larger, so it's encompassing the sky, and I go and I, let's see, what should we try here? Um, if we go to Contrast, yeah, okay. If I turn contrast up, you can see how it's affecting the barn here as well and that kind of little silo there as well. But then if I go to uh, chrominance and or luminance and I move that to the right, let's say, and try to restrict it more towards the sky, you can see how it's kind of pulling it away from some of the sky area, but that barn as well. I also could use the luminance slider as well to help restrict it. So you could see how that, you could use a, like a combination of the luminance and chrominance sliders to try to get that control point to work exactly where you want it to work. So yes, uh, I, was, I was totally wrong. I, I do apologize uh, profusely. Um, I'll get, try to never do this again in the future. I won't be as lazy as I was when I was researching what's new in Nick Collection 4 it was just total negligence on my fault, on my part. And again, I'd like to thank everyone who really kindly let me know that I was wrong. I do appreciate your kindness and consideration. Um, so that's that on the control points. Hopefully um, I represented it, it in a correct way. Feel free in the comment section to let people know something else you noticed about control points that I left out or something that might help them better utilize control points. All of us will benefit from it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.